What's good people, how is it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below, smash the like, hit the bell, those things help out a lot. YouTube's not been notifying people when we upload, so just make sure you hit the bell. Anyway guys, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, all the moms, all the mother plants, everyone. Just happy Mother's Day. Just gotta get that out of the way, because it's really important. Without the moms, where would the seedlings and the plants be, right? So, happy Mother's Day to the moms. Now, a lot of people have been asking us for grow videos, and guys, we've got a lot of videos on our channel. We've got over a hundred grow videos on our channel so definitely check out the videos on our channel because we got tons of grow videos on there but the thing is youtube's been age restricting a lot of our grow videos lately so every time we post them no one sees them but that said we actually did a dope seed to harvest video just last week so check it out the ethos crescendo from seed all the way to harvest we're going to be working on more seed to harvest episodes so you guys can see everything that we're doing as well so definitely stay tuned for that but that said we're going to be posting some exclusive videos for channel members only so channel members definitely join up if you're not a channel member but channel members you're going to get some awesome stuff coming your way anyway guys today is all about defoliation and regardless of whether you're a channel member or not we're always going to drop that dope knowledge for you guys but channel members get much better perks so you might want to join but today is all about defoliation a lot of people defoliate their plants some people go crazy they're different techniques lollipopping shwazing there are tons of different methods that people can use and you may be wondering why do people defoliate their plants in the first place well it's simple defoliation and pruning actually have a few key benefits it increases overall yield it increases cannabinoids produces bigger flowers hours and decreases pest pressure. So we're going to run through a few benefits of defoliation and how you can defoliate to improve your garden today. So definitely smash the like button and let's get into today's episode. Yes guys, so did you know that nearly 100% of legal commercial growers defoliate and prune their plants? If they didn't, they'd run into tons of problems, like multiple problems when it comes to like pest pressure, low quality bud, and tons more. So if nearly 100% of commercial growers defoliate and prune, then why shouldn't you? Bruh. Now defoliation is super simple. All you really need is a garden scissors or your fingers, maybe some rubber gloves, and it's super easy. But a lot of people may not know there's actually a difference between defoliation and pruning. Defoliating is the act of cutting the fat leaves off on a plant so you cut off the leaves but when you prune you cut off the branches so you defoliate the leaves and you prune the branches got it now as a rule of thumb there are a few times when you shouldn't usually defoliate before the fifth note on a plant appears you probably shouldn't defoliate young seedlings are fragile and they need as much love and care as possible that's why it's important to leave your seedlings untouched until they have at least five notes then you can top but we'll get to that in a bit you also may not want to defoliate when it's three to five days before flowering always leave like three to five days between defoliating and switching your plant to flower. This way it has a few days to recover from the stress caused by cutting its parts. Some people suggest that defoliating between day 1 and day 21 of flower during the first 3 weeks when your plant is going through that aggressive growth period also which a lot of growers know as a stretch as the pre-flower stretch. Any defoliation or pruning can stunt growth Bruh. severely. A lot of you growers may top out there and if you top you actually do a form of defoliation. Topping is basically when you cut off the top branch right after a node and two new shoots grow in its place. This actually causes the plants to bush out because topping breaks the tendency for the plant to grow into a Christmas tree shape. After about six to eight weeks from seed, many small leaves and small branches will appear and they'll like cluster together. I often find that it's important to clear out some of that space in the middle of the canopy to allow for more airflow and light penetration. So this is where defoliation comes in. A lot of people love the fan leaves. Fan leaves look awesome. They show how healthy a plant is. It can show the signs of nutrient deficiency or lockout. It can show toxicity. It can show health. It can show great stuff. But a lot of people don't know that huge fan leaves at the bottom of a plant that aren't getting a lot of light actually consume more energy than they produce. As a rule of thumb, if your fan leaves aren't catching direct light, it means that they're consuming more energy than they're producing. And they're most likely also blocking airflow throughout the plant, which is bad for the fan leaves above them who want to transpire and exchange CO2 within the air. So it's usually recommended to defoliate all the fan leaves that are shaded by two or more leaves above them and all the fan leaves that are already touching the bottom side of another fan leaf, or pretty much anything that's in direct contact with another leaf. The main point is guys, you don't want to have a bunch of leaves just sitting over top of one another. Now you also want to make sure that you defoliate those fan leaves that shading the younger growth tips from preventing them from catching light. That allows those smaller growth sites to do more photosynthesis which means the plant can allocate more energy to growing them into bigger and thicker colas. So you gotta defoliate the fan leaves that are blocking lower bud sites or the ones that are just too bushy in there. But wait, what, what are fan leaves? Fan leaves are the larger leaves that come out directly from the branches. Their main function is to collect light, CO2, store nutrients and transpire. But the sugar leaves are the smaller leaves. They stick out of the buds and, and those are covered in trichomes. They're much smaller and 
their main function is to store nutrients for the flowers and to grow trichomes to attract pollen. They still collect light and CO2 and stuff, but they don't do it as much as the fan leaves. So typically guys, what you want to prune are the fan leaves, not the sugar leaves. Now when it comes to defoliation, there are a few little tips and tricks that a lot of different growers use and some of them you may be able to incorporate into your garden. Oftentimes guys, when you got a small plant, if you just stop it, you'll notice that like one shoot may grow a little bigger than the other one right directly opposite next to it. A lot of growers will actually trim off that small one and just let the bigger one grow. The bigger one usually grows into a bigger, stronger branch. The thought behind this is that plants put more energy toward the branches that can easily photosynthesize. This is why the shaded branches are given less energy and end up becoming popcorn buds. So in a nutshell, the goal of defoliating and pruning during the veg stage is to set up your canopy for success during the flowering stage. And what you're really aiming for is like a strong base with some thick branches and well distributed foliage to allow for airflow, light penetration and true photosynthesis. Now after you flip the flower, most strains will go through a vigorous growth period between the time you flip them to flower and the third week of flowering. While it's really important not to defoliate your plants during these first 20 to 25 days of the stretch phase, it's equally important to trim them back after this period is over. This is the last chance you really have to prune any unwanted growth or leaves before your plants start filling up with flowers. Now on a side note guys, never top your plants during the flowering stage. This will only stunt your flowering production. Never top during flowering stage. Bruh. That's a no-no. Don't want to do that. But back to defoliation during flower. Now what I like to do is defoliate all the bottom leaves and growth sites that aren't catching any more light and that are blocking the airflow from the bottom to the top. This is important because if you leave too much cluster behind, you'll end up with a lot of larvae popcorn buds after harvest. Then what I like to do is defoliate the leaves at the top that are blocking the lower bud sites from light exposure. This helps to make sure that they develop into dense colas in the future. Now what I love to do at this stage is lollipopping. And I don't mean like... Bruh like a candy lollipop. Lollipopping is actually a great technique that you can use at this stage and it's pretty much where you defoliate the bottom half of your plant or maybe the bottom third. If you do it, let me know what you do. Drop a comment down below. But sometimes I do between the third and the half. What that does is help to clear out the smaller growth sites that you would otherwise have as popcorn buds. Now to lollipop your plants, all you gotta do is just choose the height you want a lollipop at and then defoliate all of the leaves and growth sites below that line. Lollipopping is highly recommended indoors when the light intensity is significantly lower the farther away your leaves are from the light source. Now when you lollipop you usually get some awesome plant structures and what the plant does is focus a lot of its energy on producing nice dense flowers up on top instead of having to focus on any larvae popcorn buds down below that are not getting sufficient light. Because who likes to trim popcorn buds dude? I certainly don't. Now there's also pre-harvest defoliation. A lot of growers do this. One week before harvest time, your plant will have put on most of its weight and will start focusing on filling up its trichomes with cannabinoids. This is when most of the pistils are likely brown and the trichomes are going milky and amber. So it's recommended that you do one last defoliation at this stage for a few reasons. Now, no pruning. This is different from pruning. Remember what I said earlier in the video. Defoliate the leaves, prune the branches. Got it? Now, a little pre-harvest defoliation actually helps to uncover those lower buds and sugar leaves that have been shaded by a big fan leaf for the last four to six weeks. And what it does is also causes mild stress and your plant and forces it to allocate all of its resources to the buds which results in more trichome and cannabinoid production or at least that's what they say but as a fact though it saves you over 50 percent of the time trimming later on because most of your fan leaves would have been already removed so i wouldn't lie i usually do a little bit of pre-harvest defoliation i don't get too crazy but i do a little bit and it usually helps a lot so now in a nutshell Bruh. the goal of defoliating and pruning after the third week of flower is to set up your plant for success during the flowering stage and the goal of defoliating and pruning on the last week of flowers to expose the lower buds and create enough stress for the plant to put out all the remaining trichomes as well as making it easier for you to trim later on during harvest. And to actually prune or defoliate is super easy. You can use the scissors, you can use the pruners, you can use it a pair of shares or you can even use your fingers a lot of people use different things for bigger branches when it comes to pruning you may need to use a little pair of pruners or some shares or even maybe just the scissors depending on how thick the branch is but you get but you get what i'm trying to say but if you're using your fingers you may want to use rubber gloves to avoid contamination from your hand to the plant if you don't got gloves make sure to wash your hands properly dude. and if you're pruning old or harder branches with your hand be super careful or just don't do it at all because this may damage the plant now defoliating and pruning is super simple super easy and can and improve a lot of quality on your plant. Dope flowers, thick colas, awesome buds. Who doesn't want that? But always remember guys, you can always defoliate and prune more, but you can never put leaves or branches back on. So for this reason, always take less than you think is necessary. A lot of people forget the fan leaves are actually like the solar panels of the plant. You don't want to take those off because without those, the plant can't photosynthesize. It can't absorb a light. It can't do anything. <laughs> like I've seen a lot of growers trim off all the fan leaves on their plant and wonder what is happening. And I'm like, 
crap. Dude, what are you doing? So don't be that guy. Uh, anyway, guys, a lot of people defoliate. So if you defoliate, drop a comment down below and let me know what you do, how you do it, when you do it. A lot of people got different methods, different techniques, but it's a super helpful technique. I love defoliating. I actually don't like my plants to get too bushy. I posted a pic on my IG recently and someone was like, those plants should be a lot more bushier. There should be no floor space on the tent. You shouldn't be able to see any space on the floor. And I'm like, dude, I don't grow like that, fam. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I, I just don't do that. I personally like some airflow. I like some light penetration. I like to be able to see through the plants. I don't like things to be too, too bushy. When things get too bushy, I know a lot of problems can arise. I'm speaking from experience. So it's just not my style. That's just not what I do. And everyone's got different styles. So like I said, drop a comment down below. So like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your style is. And join the channel memberships, guys. It's going to be dope. A lot of people join already. So join up with us, man. It's going to be awesome. Kick it with us. Early videos and a lot of grow videos as well. So if you want grow videos, you know what to do. Because we're working on a few and channel members get early access. Anyway, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the bell. And before you go, check out this video right here and this video right here. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace, fam.